Uh, king of the slick up. Hey, call me Lord of the Chain, God of the wristwatch. Fashion be your movie. I'm Gucci. Rum Nitty and Av have both taken to Twitter to voice their grievances and make heavy implications on what we're going to see in the future. Jen, are you ready? Spiff, are you ready? Let's get it. God, what is going on? Who are we starting with? Are we starting with Rum? I don't know. I'm in the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, di I didn't see those tweets, so yeah, you got to put so, them on the okay. thing. Okay, all right. Are we... I meant to do this in pre-pro. Let's start with um, Rum after Summer Madness. What are you were saying after Summer Madness with the call-outs? Let's get it. All right. Okay. All right, so Rum Nitty says, uh, retweet or I'll do the job. Anyway, Rum says, mm -hmm. I want smoke with a verb that just battled Hollow the Dom. That nigga definitely ate a cheeseburger or something before that battle because that was the old verb, Mahalo. I need the rematch, big dog. We had a one-on-one -on -one right after I won the championship. Rum is calling niggas out. And then Verb responds. The Verb says, see, now, see, that's what's wrong with these little things. Now listen. Time right? out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's hollow. I heard him. <laughs> he didn't say I heard him three times, but he said I heard him. And I always say yes. Yeah. He also had some, some designs on, on DNA. Oh, rum caught at DNA. You said Fonz was the greatest puncher ever. Rum Nitty, That's yo, Rum Nitty really don't be on the internet because DNA said that shit like last year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that nigga post dated the shit out that check right there. Oh, <laughs> I gotta smoke you again for that, GTK. Man, what that nigga now. put GTK, like he put GTK and DNA ain't even gun titles. And Rum just don't give a fuck right now. When he wrote that shit, he gave it from the point of I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's where he was at. That yeah. was the address. Facts. Rum Nitty said, "You know what though? I, I, Hold on, you know what he did? That nigga, that nigga made a complete U-turn. We have to acknowledge this because this is the complete opposite of the Denzel yeah. Washington and Training Day nigga we just saw. Come on, let's let's see, let's see what yeah. he talk about today. Yeah, because because he went from calling everybody and their mother out to saying, you know what, man, look at, I'm gonna sit out until I get the battles and the bags I deserve. Simple as that." So he went from calling out Hollow, Aver, what, what changed? You're saying you want to smoke what DNA. What changed? Let's see. I can't say what changed without hearing. Now I'm on a That's hilarious. We got more. Uh, that well, okay. Oh, that was. Uh, I rum. think that was all the rum, rum, uh, rum. And then we've got Av who did the same flip flop thing. Did the okay. same thing. This is yesterday's Av or this morning's Av saying. And Av said, I told him fix my tweet right smack up. Oh, yeah. This is going to be major. It's been time. But it's then he time. responded to Rum Nitty's tweet about sitting out. Then he said, you know what? Hey, man, look at Slim. I'm just trying to The show must go on. So Dip as in like, you know, I'm, I'm washing my hands with this. I'm going I'm to chill. Like, dip, dip me leave. I mean, leave something. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, leave something. Romney hey. saying I'm sitting out. Av is saying I'm dipping. The show, but the show must go on. And the flip flops, the flip flops. You know, something major from Av, and then kind of the show must go on. The, what happened in the interim? Same thing with Av, like. Romney after summer madness, like, yeah, give me hollow, give me DNA, and then now nah, I'm sitting out until they give me what I deserve. It's, I feel it's, like, it's, it's, I it's feel getting like... crazy. It's getting crazy, bro, because listen, first and foremost, I'm a huge fan of both of these guys. I'm a uh -huh. huge, I'm a huge, huge fan of both of these guys. Uh, Av is my, Av is my homie. You know what I mean, like, I, I, I can't call him like a friend, friend, but I feel like. I know I know what he stands for and shit, and I, I could kind of vouch for him in a certain way as a person. But I feel like we're looking at a situation where both these guys want certain opponents and certain bags, 
but neither one of them do a lot of promo. So now, years later, it's kind of affecting what you could kind of demand. You know what I mean? Like, uh, niggas like Tay Rock, Surf, certain niggas, they going in there and kind of throwing their weight around because of what they do in the public when they get these bit. We want to see Rum in huge battles. We want to see Av in huge battles. But I don't know what the bottom line looks like from a URL standpoint. Yeah, you know I mean, right. but it sounds like they basically saying, listen, if y'all can't pay me what I'm worth rap wise, because we know what they're going to do when it's time to rap. Yeah, you know I mean, then I'm going to have to explore other options and alternatives. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I at the end of the day, the problem is. I can't be mad at either side. You definitely got to know your worth. You definitely got to negotiate your worth. And we definitely want to keep Av and and Nitty on URL to, to keep performing and get those big battles. But they're going to have to find some type of compromise as far as both sides. Pay these niggas some more money. Y'all going to have to take less than what y'all maybe want. But give them the battles that they want at least. At, at least, least give them the right? battles that they want. Because when... Respect to Swamp, but we just got Rock vs. Swamp. We could get Rock vs. Av. Yeah, I mean, come on, we just got. Come on, we can we can start getting some of these That's... other type joints. Yeah, you know I mean, it's here. The people are here for it. Let's see it, man. Like, give at least give these niggas the opponents they want to where at least they stock could kind of raise and, and the people can start to get on their side more. Yeah, you know I mean, so they can start making them demands and, and that should bring up the bottom line. Yeah, you know I mean, at the end of the day, salute to both of them. I think when battle rappers say they're gonna retire, it, basically it's like a man, man. You only as faithful as your options, dog. If you a funny looking nigga, you probably faithful because don't nobody wants you anyway. Yeah, I man, you feel me? But if you if you end them, if listen, but if that if that drawing a high demand, you outside though. You feel me? If that if if, if hey, <laughs> let me just give a little update. So Av says I'm just trying to dip. Someone says you're breaking my heart. What am I supposed to do until then? Just watch. He says, Oh, I don't mean from battle rap completely. It, that's what I'm saying. When he say I'm, I'm about not to completely, dip, completely, I'm when, just saying other options. When he say when, he, when Av yeah, say when Av well, say I'm about to really dip, not. Av say I'm about to dip. He not. I don't know if he's saying he's about to dip from battle rap. It sounds like he's about to dip. He's implying he's about to dip to another league. Let's just keep that's that a hundred. So the question is, what league? And and the answer would have to be the Riot GTX, the Riot, Riot GTX. Or RBE. Yeah, you know I mean, if if it's no contractual reason why he can't do the RBE situation. But it sounds like it's also a a, a good opportunity for him name wise too. Cause Av is the type of nigga. Av I ain't never seen Av say, Yes, I just got that big ass bag. But when Av get the right vet on the line, he's excited. So if he's excited, I think it's more about the opponent. Yeah, I think I think for Av the the the, the money is definitely the draw, but I think the motivation comes from the competitions. So when he get when he get the right name, th that's when the tweets get different, or that's when the tweets get less because it's like, all right, now let me lock in to you know what I'm saying what I got in front of me. Same thing with Nitty, you know what I'm saying? They both are you know what I'm saying big names on any car anywhere in America. So if they on the bill, niggas is going to tune in if it's Rum versus No Name or Ad versus No Name. So imagine with the look. Or the turnout is going to be when you give them who they want. Imagine if Ab and Hollow pop up, you know what I'm saying, on on any car, anywhere. Everybody and their mother tuning in, whether they buy tickets or a pay-per-view or whatever. Same thing with Nitty. Whoever, whoever Nitty asking for. Same shit, man. Give, give them people's they worth. I'm like, I feel, I, I feel like that's an assumption. Though. I'm gonna just keep it real. I, yeah, I feel well, as, as well, much as we I, do love them, that might be an assumption, and it goes back right. to sell, it, the the ticket selling comes from selling the tickets. There's a lot of promo and getting people excited, and you got to develop a history of it uh, uh, for real, for real to like sell out summer madness type shit. Yeah, you know I mean. I, I, that's I what, and I, I feel like that's where JC just went wrong, just in the battle with yeah, Surf. Surf, he never promoted. But that's a problem, though. It is. Yeah. It is. That's, so that's a that I'm, that's yeah. a problem. He, it looked like he didn't even belong up there with Surf because he that's, doesn't promote. Yeah, you know I mean, you're you're going into the battle with the perception like you can't even win this. Almost like and it's, like everyone in here is thinking you can't win this. Like you, that yeah. And it's the game, when, man. The game is not going to change. Yo, listen. When, who's one of the hottest people of 2022? Snake me. Eyes. Snake Eyes. Oh, Snake this Eyes, is the right? the example I was just about to give. Like, yeah. when you see the opportunities that Snake Eyes, that stumbles, 
has created. Is Snake is are either one of them better than Av just off the front? If I just say that right now, what's your answer? You know? Of course not. But they hot yeah. right now. This is it, and that and and that that means a lot to the people who pay the checks. Like it means an awful lot. Promo. It's all well and good for us hardcore fans saying, "I'm gonna sit down and watch Av and Hollow anywhere it happens, whenever it happens." Like, but we're hardcore fans. You know what, though? I think I think one day we either got to do a spaces or we got to have an entire show involved around the 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 way the game evolved from the DVD era and the anticipation of when the next DVD was going to drop, as opposed to Slim, you don't even promote, so we're not really excited to see you, even though we but know my my, my the nigga, the game the game changed when when the game changed. The game really didn't change. You got to think the cameras just came on more because Philly versus New York was going on off camera and, and that promo was happening word to word in the streets. And then you got to think, you think back to uh, Arsenal versus Hitman Holler. Them niggas was promoting and that's why it was one of the biggest battles ever back then. You know what I mean? Niggas, the, the stars were promoting back then and they still, you know what I mean? Cortez versus Surf was what it was because all the way back then, Niggas watch me in a lot. That whole shit. You see what I'm saying? So at, at some point, I know niggas are super cool and laid back and don't want to deal with the fuckery, but it's going to reflect that in conversations when when it's time to get paid or get booked. Mm -hmm. It's going to. Your rapping is so good that you are in these conversations, but it's certain demands that people don't want to hear from you and you're not going to want to hear that. You know what I mean? So I, I, think it, I think it worked both ways, man. No, nah, that's right. That's right. You're right. I think it works both ways. And I think, I don't know, this is just my assumption. Sometimes I think you see tweets like this or sentiments like this every so often from, especially from these upper echelon type guys. And I wonder, is this you flirting? Is this like a temp check? Is this you trying to let the league know, listen, my fans want me, like my fans are supporting oh, me. Yeah, like, okay, you good. try and tell me you're not, um, you're not booking me this year. Like, let me, the let, thing, me let the... me tell the fans that and see see what the temperature is and see, you know, show you, use that for my leverage. The, the thing is, uh, the thing is, both of these guys have done several temp checks here lately. Yeah. So it's like, I think the league, no. I think that they're not playing uh, Boy Who Cry Wolf no more. I think that they're really ready to make the move and maybe they trying to get whoever's about to, the other investor to yeah, see they work. That's, that's the other thing yeah. too, right? Maybe, they try, it, maybe yeah. they trying to see the other or side to see they work at this point. Start a bit. In, Start yeah, a like, bit. Yeah, get, yeah. Boom, yeah, man. Let me get ARP under my comments with the eyes emoji. Whether niggas want to admit it or not, that happens, and it happens in both ways. Oh, it happens know. both ways. Listen, I think so. It happens I both so. ways. I, yeah, I mean, I know certain calls that's that's made and then painted to be something else. Yeah, you know I mean, certain people who is oh, this league is trying to steal this person whole time. This person made the call. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I mean, so it is, and it goes both ways. So yeah, it is what it, it is, what it is, man. I'm um, moving on. Speaking of niggas who sick of this shit, man, Chilla Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, nah, nah, that segue was great, that's, that's what we on right now. For, for, for real, man. Listen, Chilla Jones has taken to Twitter to voice his opinion on the game and how he feel for the foreseeable future. Uh, so what happened was DNA tweeted Chilla Jones. I guess he's putting a card together, said the streets need a body. And he said, Chilla Jones, would you be willing to battle Elijah Strait on this card, battle for the title of the God Pen? I was like, what? God Pen. Elijah Straker just battled Chilla Jones, and now he don't got a nickname no more. It's kind of crazy. But whatever. I digress. Chilla Jones had this to say in response. Chilla Jones said, you never stood in front of tweets like these. He said, uh... I'm retired. But if the bag right, I might make an exception. Now, listen, bro, I'm getting sick of these niggas retiring every 46 minutes, all right? Either uh, I'm retired is AKA either I'm not getting booked or my fee is too high for the people that want to book me. That's what retired means when, you, when you're when talking cursive, when you pig Latin it 
or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Chilla Jones last battle was was OSBL, if I'm not mistaken, with him and Cuban, which is a fire battle. Everybody go check that out. Just dropped but, yesterday. Fire. Yeah, but Chilla Jones retiring, like I, I personally don't think he's done enough, even though his accolades is of some that people don't have or probably won't ever get. But come on, Chilla, you just say you're taking a break or say you're hungry or say something, bro. Retiring, I think, is the wrong way. Yeah, and I mean, I guess this is the first I'm seeing of any Chilla is retired talk. Um, I was surprised by that tweet. But I think for him, I think since the Shine battle on URL, or no, since the Rock battle, excuse me, on URL, it kind of... Um, and I think, yeah, the Chilla excelled, or not excelled, but really his champion of the year, year, the the pandemic, the... the everyone was kind of in tune the trend was to, to to float to the pens after the rock battle i think he hasn't been as in demand um i guess if we're talking about promo as well you can potentially put chiller in that category someone who maybe doesn't promo like some of the other louder guys and he's got he's working on his league now as well he's trying to do oh, yeah. um, big things with his home league and he got um, the uh, and he got the, the potential with um exactly if- exactly so i don't know if okay. it's a case of you know there's nothing it's not exciting for me right now so i'm sitting down until it is yeah uh yeah yeah i feel what chill is trying to say i i feel like this is one of them wake up calls who chill was just the champion of the year and it's, it, it, it gives me the feel right now, and I hate to use this analogy, but it gives me the feel of a team that goes from the championship to not making the playoffs the following season. Yeah, I mean, um, I know we started Pendulum Inc., and that shit is taking off in a real credible way. And oddly enough, when I woke up this morning, I saw Chilla Jones was starting a league, and he's the co-headliner on the card. And then two seconds later, I see him say he retired. So... <laughs> I don't think he knows what retirement is. I think, oh, really? <laughs> I think maybe he's confused. I don't know. But maybe uh, he's dipping. He's, he's he dipping. May, yeah, he might be just dipping. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, Chilla has shown us that he can go start over, rebuild, and, and become yeah. a champion in other places. So I have no doubt that if that's what he mm-hmm. chooses to do, that's what he's going to do. But maybe he just fed up with the, Maybe instead of him taking the route of saying, oh, I want this, the, I want the opponents, I want the bags. Maybe he's just saying, you know what? If it happens, it'll happen, but I'm not chasing mm-hmm. it no more. And if that's the case, I can respect it. I mean, his legacy is intact like a motherfucker. Right. And if, if he got, if he getting a, a, living a nice living without having to chase the bags and, and chase the opponents, more power to him, man, for real. Like, shout mm-hmm. out to him. But, bro, but uh, just don't say you retired. Just say, you know, you, you, you ready and waiting for the right opportunity. Like, yeah. Yeah, man, you're not wasting your time. Don't bring me no fucking kids. Like, yeah, like. Yeah, say that. Say, say, say it with your chest like mm-hmm. you chilling, my nigga. All y'all niggas. All y'all niggas, man. Y'all Come niggas on. are Ev. Y'all niggas are Ev from Nitty and Chilla Jones, man. Facts. Say that shit with your motherfucking Ooh, chest, man. nigga. Three of the greatest to ever do this shit. Ooh, any any motherfucking, any league, any league, any card would be motherfucking honor to have y'all mm. every battle rap fan will love to watch y'all y'all are three mm. niggas that bring three rounds every single motherfucking battle mm. i mean at the end of the motherfucking day do your thing but say it with your chest man demand your demands but say it with your motherfucking chest fuck that stop being on twitter sounding like d out of henny man talking like book henny on your book avin book rum nitty shit y'all ain't got my problems shit you like this fucking j before i get mad uh, king of the slick top. Hey, call me Lord of the Chain, God of the wristwatch. Fashion be your movie. I'm.